Hi there, welcome to Peppy Civil Class. Today's question is on the fluid mechanics, okay? But the topic is pressure measurement, okay? So we are going to look at some of the um, tools used to measure pressure, okay? And when we talk of pressure measurements, then we are talking about manometers. So some of the simple manometers that we can think of the piezometer the youtube manometer and um the single column manometer okay and this question is under the youtube manometer okay so let's read a youtube manometer is used to measure the pressure of oil in a specific a pressure of oil of specific gravity 0 0.85 flowing in a pipeline okay its left end this part its left end is connected to a pipe of the right limb which is open to the atmosphere so this part is open to the atmosphere now the center of the pipe the center of the pipe is 100 mm below 100 millimeters below the level of the mercury so the center of the pipe is 100 millimeters below the level of the mercury and the mercury s2 we have um specific gravity of 13.6 okay in the right limb if the difference of the mercury level in the two limb is 160 mm h2 the right limb of the mercury the level is 160 millimeters okay determine the absolute pressure of the oil in the pipe okay so let's just start solving let's put the question here and solve here so that we can make reference to it so solution there are some data given so let's bring them out we have the specific gravity of oil which is x1 the liquid is an oil okay so s1 is 0 0.85 so data given we have specific gravity of oil s1 is equal to 0 0.85 okay the second one is specific gravity of mercury mercury which is S2, it's also given as 13.6. Okay, now the height of the oil in the left limb 160 minus the, the right limb, which is 100 mm. You have to subtract this one from this one. So, height of oil in left limb, which is h2 but we have to subtract if you want to get h1 we have to subtract h2 from the 100 okay so h1 is equal to 160 minus 100 and this will give us 60 mm okay that's 0 0.6 meters right okay now the difference of the mercury level the difference of the mercury level we already have it here as h2 so 0 0.160 uh, so the difference of the mercury level h2 is equal to 160 mm 0.16 meters right yes so we are calculating for the absolute pressure. Of the oil.
I'm just a little pressure of the oil now. Let H1 okay, H1 here the gauge pressure in the uh, pipe in terms of head water or head of water and P. So you let H1 be there. Gauge pressure. In the pipe okay in terms of the head of the water now let P be the gauge pressure in terms of kilo Newton per meter squared okay so we have a section here, XX. The section is cutting on this line. So, equating the pressure head above the section line or the datum line, XX, you have to equate it. We will have H plus H1, S1. Is equal to H2 S2, which is also equal to zero. Okay, or H plus 0 0.06, 0 0.06. This is 0 0.06. Okay. Please correct it. This is 0 0.06. So H plus H1, which is 0 0.06, multiplied by S1, 0 0.85. Okay. It's equal to H2, 0 0.16, multiplied by S2, 13.6. 13.6. Right. Okay, so now let's make H in the subject. Make H in the subject. So H is equal to 0 0.06 times 0 0.85. We have 0 0.051 equal to, sorry, it's plus 0 0.16 multiplied by 13.6. We have 2.176 okay so making h the subject h is equal to 2.176 minus 0 0.051 now h becomes 2.125 meters okay so now we know our h we have to find the pressure should we continue here yeah Let's go back. The pressure given P, okay, is equal to WH, where the weight is equal to 9.81 multiplied by the H, which is the height that we just got, 2.125. 2.125 and what will this give us 9.81 by 2.125 we have 20.84 kilopascal okay so 20.84 kpa okay maybe you should put a note here how we got this uh, weight is equal to 9.81 is a constant unit okay kilo newton per meter square okay just note this one okay
is always 9.81. So the absolute pressure, now we have the pressure, so we can find the absolute pressure, okay. Absolute pressure of the oil is equal to B absolute is equal to atmospheric pressure P plus the pressure gauge. Okay, this is the formula. Now, P atmosphere, the atmospheric pressure is 100 plus the P gauge, we have 20.84, and this will give us 120.84 kilopascal. Okay.